One of the first steps in annotation is to identify all of the genes within a contig and to determine the number of isoforms of each gene. Remember that a gene is a DNA sequence that can encode at least one functional RNA and protein product. Each gene in the Drosophila genome has a unique gene name. We will use the genome browser to learn more about gene structure. Go to the GEP UCSC Genome Browser Gateway page and select the D. melanogaster July 2014 Gene Assembly. Enter CONTIG1 into the Search Term box and click Submit. The default view shows the entire length of CONTIG1, which consists of 11,000 nucleotides. The Fly Base Genes track shows the D. melanogaster genes on the PAC display mode. With this view, we can see the gene and isoform names to the left of each feature. Many evidence tracks have different display modes that you can use to control how the UCSC Genome Browser renders overlapping features. For example, Let's change the display mode for the FlyBase Genes track to Dense and click Refresh. The overlapping features are now rendered in a single line. To determine how many genes are in CONTIG1, we will count the number of features in the FlyBase Genes track. Each feature consists of one or more boxes, which correspond to exons. The lines that connect two adjacent boxes correspond to introns. A gene is composed of a collection of boxes, or exons, and lines that connect them together, or introns. The gap between two adjacent genes is known as the intergenic region. In this example, CONTIG1 contains three different genes, and each gene has multiple exons and introns. Type CONTIG1 colon 1 through 5800 into the search term box and then press enter to zoom into the region where the first gene is located within CONTIG1. Change the display mode for the fly base genes track to full and then click on the refresh button. Now we can see that there are three sets of exons and introns that correspond to the three isoforms of the gene CG32165. An isoform is an alternative form of a gene that results from alternative splicing, or the use of different sets of transcribed exons in the processed mRNA. Each isoform of a gene has a different mRNA sequence. However, some isoforms may have the same amino acid sequences because they use the same set of coding exons. Let's look at the CG32165 gene and examine the three isoforms in more detail. The labels at the left side of the fly-based genes track correspond to the names of the mRNA. In Drosophila, the part of the name before the last dash corresponds to the gene name, while the suffix after the dash, such as RC, RB, or RA, corresponds to the name of the isoform. For example, CG32165-RC corresponds to the C isoform of CG32165. The arrows within each intron denote the orientation of the gene relative to the contig. Because the arrows point from right to left, CG32165 is on the complementary strand. This means that the first transcribed exon is located at the right side of the image. Isoform C has nine exons. Isoform B also has nine exons. But note that exon 1 is shorter. This isoform has a different transcription start site. Isoform A only has 8 exons, the result of a mode of alternative splicing known as intron retention. Let's zoom out to the entire CONTIG1 and look at the SPD2 gene. Enter CONTIG1 into the Enter Position or Search Term text box and then press Enter. We can see that there is only one isoform of this gene isoform A. Therefore, only one kind of mRNA is transcribed. Finally, let's look at the TRA gene. As indicated by the RA and RB suffixes, there are two isoforms of the TRA gene, isoform A and isoform B. Each isoform has three exons, but note that exon 2 is longer in isoform B than in isoform A. This is an example of another mode of alternative splicing that is caused by the use of an alternative splice acceptor site.